Australian Survivor is the ultimate game of survival where 24 contestants are marooned on Samoa with just the clothes on their backs. It's the modern day Hunger Games. I want to be a hero. For 55 days, they are forced to battle the elements and each other until only one is left standing. I don't know nothing about building. I, I've, I, I've never built anything in my entire life. Things were already bad, but that topped it off. Now, on day one, they are split into three tribes. The tribes then compete against each other in challenges. Go! In some challenges, they play for rewards, like food, tools, comfort items, things they can use. While in other challenges, they play for immunity. Sinabru wins immunity! If a tribe doesn't win immunity, then they must come here to tribal council that night, and they must vote out one of their own tribe members out of the game for good. The tribe has spoken. Now, to keep it interesting, somewhere on the island are a number of hidden immunity idols. Where is the immunity idol? These idols, when played at tribal council, make a contestant immune from receiving any votes that night. They are a huge advantage if you can find one. I just can't find the damn thing. The contestants are voted out one by one. Eventually, the tribes merge from three to two, and then two to one tribe. So hard to not cry. After the merge into one tribe, the remaining contestants then compete as individuals until only two are left standing. I'm playing to win. I'll do everything I can to win that money. At this point, the power then shifts back to the last nine contestants voted out of the game. They are known as the jury. The jury then votes to decide which of the final two is the winner, taking home the half million dollars and the title of Soul Survivor.